When the Reverend was not traveling the world, he could be found here at The Cove, a 1,200-acre compound for those who want to get into ministry. While there, you can find Barbara Mitchell, the Visitor Center Coordinator. She's been here for... Uh, going on 27 years. If you do meet her, tell her you've been here before, or... First time here? Shame on you. I just moved here. <laughs> you have to come back for a tour. At the visitor center, only a handful were around to pay their respects. A thundering but calming piano filled the chapel, reminiscent to the way Graham preached. Choose Jesus Christ as your Lord and Master and Savior. For all the incredible things the Reverend has done and the places he's been, Mitchell tells a simple story of the Reverend and his wife Ruth that's just as memorable. They came to uh, the staff picnic one time and as they were, this is just to tell you how, what type of people they were. He was getting out of the back of the car and Ruth was behind him and he had this, his name tag. She had stuck on his backside and when he was getting out, I was helping him get out and Ruth goes, shh. <laughs> but that was Ruth, yeah. <laughs> Mitchell says the Cove and the rest of the Graham Empire will go on just as a reverend planned, even though he's no longer on this earth. No, we know where he is. He's not gone. We are, we're going to join him someday. In Montreat, North Carolina, Gary Cooper, ABC 11, Eyewitness News.